Hi Explorers. Welcome to our HX1 sales video. In this video, we're going to give you the information you need to confidently use and demonstrate the HEMA HX1 Navigator, including the device's hardware, software, fundamental functions and most impressive features. Before we get into the HX1's internal features, let's quickly run through the device itself. Each HX1 comes bundled with a cradle and windscreen mount. 12 to 24 volt car charger, a mini USB cable, and a drawstring pouch for protection. The HX1's most prominent feature is its 7-inch multi-touch screen, which is accompanied by a power and charging indicator on the left. The power button is above this on the top of the unit, and a short press and hold will turn on the HX1 or wake it up from sleep. Down the left-hand side of the HX1 is an auxiliary out for headphone input, and underneath that is a microSD slot for memory expansion. Capable of handling a 32GB card, additional memory is useful for storing photos and videos you capture with the HX1. Below the microSD slot is a mini USB port, the primary purpose of which is for charging the HX1 either from the included car charger or mini USB cable. Meanwhile, a microphone can be found at the bottom, which captures audio while the HX1 is in video record mode. On the back of the unit is a speaker and a 5 megapixel camera for taking geotagged photos and recording video up to 480p at 15 frames per second. Finally, a device's serial number can be found underneath the HEMA logo in the centre of the device. In terms of specifications, the HX1 features a 1024 by 600 pixel screen, 16 gigabytes of internal memory and a powerful 1 gigabyte of RAM while the battery is an impressive 5,000 mAh, which lasts up to six hours off charge, depending on settings. Now we've covered the unit itself, let's turn on the HX1 and start talking about what's inside. This is the HX1 home screen. The first thing you notice is that the HX1 is a hybrid on and off-road navigation unit, featuring dedicated drive and explore navigation programs for street and four-wheel drive travel. Before we dive into those, Let's cover the other things on screen. Up the top is the date and time, as well as battery, GPS, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi indicators. Next to the explore button is the navigation button. The navigation button appears on all screens. You can tap it to return to the previous screen you are on, or you can long press it to bring up the handy navigation panel. This makes the navigation button a quick way to switch between modes and to access other device features and settings. Next to that is the settings button, which combines system settings, application settings, and help info. Meanwhile, underneath that is the help button, which you can tap to access the HX1 user guide. Next to the help button is the multimedia button, which you can tap to take a video, capture a photo, or view your media library from the home screen. With all of that out of the way, it's time to start talking about how to use and demonstrate the HX1's drive and explore navigation modes. Drive mode on the HX1 combines iGo turn-by-turn -turn voice guidance with navigation data from HERE and HEMA, in addition to points of interest from HERE, HEMA, Camps Australia Wide and Caravan Parks Australia Wide. Drive mode delivers detailed navigation to addresses, coordinates and points of interest, which also includes visual lane guidance as well as alerts like red light and speed cameras. To create a route to a single destination, Simply tap the menu icon, choose New Route, then select your destination type. You can also search for destination using the search in all bar, which you can type any keyword into to find places and points of interest around you. Either way, here is where you will find points of interest like campsites, caravan parks, 24-hour fuel, roadhouses and lookouts, as well as metropolitan points like businesses, cafes and bars, medical facilities and much more. A key feature of the HX1 is its integrated points of interest, which are specific to off-roaders and tourers. This includes over 6,000 low-cost campsites, caravan parks, dump points and more from Camps Australia Wide and Caravan Parks Australia Wide, as well as over 40,000 HEMA points of interest, which you can filter using the buttons on the right-hand side. After selecting a point of interest, you can tap Select as Destination to create a turn-by-turn -turn route or view that point's facilities by tapping the menu arrow and selecting 
detailed information. For Camp's POI, this includes information like pet friendliness, mobile phone reception and Camp Snap site images, while HEMA POI include facilities, activities and contact information. It's also easy to plot multiple destinations along the same journey by tapping multi-point route. Just tap the plus icon to add an additional destination. Then quickly and easily queue multiple destinations for planning long trips in advance. Other information and settings are available from the main menu. By tapping settings, it's possible to change route settings like choosing to navigate on unsealed roads and four-wheel drive tracks, as well as save other preferences related to navigating in drive mode. On the left-hand side of the main menu are some buttons for common functions. Below the exit button is your list of favourite destinations. The second changes the sound profile. The third switches the map view from 3D to 2D variants. While the final button allows you to create and switch between different user profiles if you have more than one. That covers the drive section of the HX1, which features full turn-by-turn -turn navigation, multi-point routing and over 45,000 points of interest. Now, let's get onto the next navigation mode, Explore. Explore mode on the HX1 features topographic and touring mapping, trip recording tools, and other features for off-road navigation. The HX1 comes pre-loaded with the HEMA Explorer map, which is Australia's most detailed adventure mapping. The HEMA Explorer map features the entire HEMA database of roads and four-wheel drive tracks, which has been expanded, updated, and maintained by our Map Patrol field teams for over 20 years. This equates to over 690,000 kilometres of four-wheel drive tracks and 540,000 kilometres of outback roads, all in one multi-scale map. The HX1 comes preloaded with the HEMA Explorer map from an Australia-wide scale of 1 to 18 million down to a driving scale of 1 to 150,000. However, when the HX1 is connected to Wi-Fi, it's easy to view and download sections of the HEMA Explorer map down to an unbelievable topographic scale of 1 to 9,000. The same rule applies for the other map sources available on the HX1, which can be accessed from the main map screen. At the top of the map screen is the toolbar. On the far right is the map layer button. This is where to go to change map layers, which you can do by dragging a layer to the top of your active layer list. From the layers menu, you can also show or hide POI, waypoints and rain radar overlays. It's also important to note that both drive and explore mode come preloaded with the HEMA's 40,000 verified POI, which makes it easy to find the places that matter to off-road travelers and tourists. Above the POI is the download map section button, which allows users to clip and save online map layers to use offline. Additional map sources on the HX1 include digitized HEMA touring maps, as well as state government topographic maps and multiple map sources from here. These maps and more detailed levels of the HEMA Explorer map can all be downloaded using the download map section and select an area tool. Next to the map layers button is the waypoint button, which you can tap to create a waypoint, take a geotagged photo, or manually create a point by point route. Waypoints are useful for marking places of importance, either when planning ahead of time at home or in real time during a trip. In the middle is the My Location button, which locks the map to your current position, followed by Mapping and POI Legends, and then the Search Bar, which is used for finding places, geographical features, and HEMA POI. Meanwhile, at the bottom of the map screen is the Trip Toolbar, which is a customizable panel with navigation information, shortcuts, and trip statistics. On the left is the main menu, where you can go to start capturing a track, view your previously recorded trip data, generate a route line to an address or POI, or change your settings and preferences in explore mode. If a user is signed into their HEMA account and connected to Wi-Fi, this is where they can back up their trip data to the HEMA Explorer Cloud, and then share their journeys online. On the HEMA Explorer Cloud, users can edit and share their tracks, as well as browse and download other people's tracks to use on their own adventures. The fact that the HX1 is a Wi-Fi connected device means updating it is quick and simple, 
including device updates, map updates, and other content and features. The HX1 comes with three years of free street map updates and free four-wheel drive map updates for the life of the unit. If you or a customer need technical support or want to find the answer to a question, refer to the user guide available from the HX1 home screen, or head over to our knowledge base to find tutorials, troubleshooting tips, and videos for using the HX1. The HX1 is the complete package for off-roading and touring in Australia. It allows you to explore with confidence, as well as find campsites, caravan parks, and other points of interest, and quickly and easily update your unit, share your trips, and download other people's tracks using just one device. We hope this video was helpful in highlighting the features and functions of the HEMA HX1 Navigator. Thank you for watching.